Hello dear students, this is Mom Rachel Ann and you are watching eTech TV. In this video lesson in our Empowerment Technology class, we will talk about Multimedia and ICT. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to explore the principles of interactivity and rich content in the context of Web2 and the participation of the user in the online experience. But before we get started, let's first watch this video clip. Ever wonder why multimedia is so glitch? Basically, it's the fact that everyone uses multimedia which comes in different forms like movies, TV shows, computer games, mobile apps, and so much more. We have known multimedia as a combination of different media types, text and audio, animation, video footage, still images, and interactivity. Actually, the term multimedia was coined by Bob Goldstein for his Lightworks at Lower Sun project and intermedia as described by Dick Higgins as a new approach to art making. Multimedia could be found in various areas including art, business, engineering, education, and advertisement. As the term expands technology and entertainment enjoy the most out of its content is Steamboat Willie, the first cartoon with a fully synchronized soundtrack. After Steamboat Willie, many forms of entertainment use multimedia, like Toy Story, the first full-length film made by computers alone, making it the top-grossing movie of 1995, and Teen Toy, the first computer-animated film to win an Academy Award, which was created by Pixar, who then owned by Steve Jobs back in 1986. But multimedia doesn't just stop there. The first 3D feature film, Not Devrish Power of Love, it's a fiber melodrama in 1922, and Avatar, which earned $2.7 billion. Plus, there's a new media to add, interactivity. New technologies allow people to interact with computers. Touchscreen gadgets are now popular amongst the masses. Even simulation of different environments is now possible. And who can live without the internet? Where you can sell, buy, watch, talk, and everything else. You can do everything under the sun with just a click. But it's not enough for us these days to just sit back and watch. We want to create things too, like the rest of the geniuses with different multimedia software applications and sites. That won't be too hard. Worried about having friends? Share your images and videos with over 479 million Facebook users just in Europe and Asia. Plus, don't forget the 140 million Twitter users to follow and share. And not only your friends can know your interests with Tumblr and MySpace. Multimedia is not just entertainment, it's connection and innovation. You don't have to go to the moon to make a giant step for mankind. Well, sometimes, rich things became part of our lives for a reason. As we have established earlier, Technology serves, assists, and cooperates with us humans to complement and enrich our normal activities. And most ICT contents are rich in multimedia like text, graphics, audio, video, and animations. The majority of the existing websites on the internet are interactive. Interactive media is a method of communication in which the output from the media comes from the input of the users. Now, let's define multimedia. ICT and the digital multimedia. Multimedia is a combination of text, animated graphics, video, and sound delivered to you via electronic means. Next, the ICT covers any communication device or application including radio, television, cellular phones, computer and network hardware and software, satellite systems, as well as the various services and applications. While digital multimedia is the field concerned with the computer, it controls the integration of text, graphics, 
still and moving images, animation, sound, and any other medium where every type of information can be presented, stored, transmitted, and processed digitally. Here are the uses of multimedia in different fields. First, let's have education. Multimedia plays a vital role in the learning process of the learners. Multimedia content improves the learning process and motivates the students to interact well in the class. We are very familiar with this because multimedia have been a great help for us as we adopt to our new normal way of learning. A good example of multimedia learning includes watching a PowerPoint presentation on Prezi, watching a pre-recorded lecture like this in your Google Meet or YouTube, or even finishing a learning course through a learning management system and website like our CAN Academy. The term edutainment is now also being used. This is the combination of education and entertainment. A good example of this is the Sci Show and Crash Course. Now for the entertainment, we have plenty of examples earlier in the video clip like the movies, cartoons, TV shows, etc. The special effects and animations that are being applied in all modern movies are the products of multimedia content. For that reason, there have been a drastic evolution in the world of online games. Majority of the online games today are highly interactive. This is where the term interactive multimedia comes in. This is the multimedia application that allows users to take part, contribute, and participate in online games. This includes your favorites like Mobile Legends, Valorant, Call of Duty, and many more. Next, for the business, many businesses integrate media content into their advertisement as their marketing strategy to attract prospective clients or consumers. An example of this are the Shopee and Lazada, being integrated into our YouTube, Facebook, and even television. In the corporate setting, PowerPoint presentations that use all kinds of media are able to effectively convey information to clients, superior, co-workers, owners, and the general public. Moving forward, we have the medicine. I know some of you aspire to become a doctor or a nurse someday. Multimedia will be a great help to your learning and even in your practice. The field of medicine integrates multimedia content to analyze further their field of study and to train future doctors and practitioners easily through visual presentation. Now for the next use of multimedia. When we hear the words mathematics and scientific research, we imagine that all the problems and issues related to them are very difficult to analyze, understand, and solve. However, with the help of the videos, models, and courseware, we can easily understand the methods used to solve complex problems. And lastly, the government. Multimedia is very useful in all government agencies around the world. They use multimedia to deliver information, procedures, and regulations from one place to another. A relevant example to this is the official Facebook page of One Bataan or the COB News Network. Our LGU utilizes multimedia content like pictures and videos to inform us about important announcements such as the COVID cases for the day, vaccination schedules, and even power interruptions by Pinelco. Now let's go over the different types of rich and multimedia content. I know many of you are already very familiar with a lot of this. So let's start. First, we have the text, images, video, audio, animation, and online games. Next, online tests and courseware. These are designed for teachers and students. Another one, we have the podcast, webcast, vodcasting, and gamecasting. Let's differentiate them. 
A podcast is an episodic series of digital media files that a user can set up so that new episodes are automatically downloaded via web syndication to the user's own local computer or portable media player. Here are some examples. While a webcast is a media presentation distributed over the internet using streaming media technology to distribute a single content source to many simultaneous listeners or viewers distributed live or demand. We could see this through the FB lives for our school events and even webinars. Next up, vodcasting is the same principle as podcasting with the addition of video. Here are some of the examples. And lastly, game casting is the broadcast of a team sport game, just like this one. For our next topic, since we have discussed about videos, let's have the three common types of video cameras. A professional video camera is a high-end video recording device that records high-quality videos. And then the camcorder is a portable video camera and video recorder in one. Lastly, some of you may have this. We have the digital camera or the digicam. This can record video including those found on mobile phones, web camera, and digital camera. Now, if we will be looking for videos, where we can find them? Here are the different sources of videos. Number one, personal and professional video. This is created using a home video. Number two, online video clips. These are videos available for purchase for the internet. And number three, computer-generated videos. These are videos created with the use of computers. Now, where do we store these files? We save audio and video files in different file formats. Audio files are used as means of storing digital data on a computer and here are the common audio file formats. And lastly, video files are used as means of storing digital video files on a computer. Here are video file formats that you might already be familiar with. And that is it for today's eTech TV. Again, I am Mom Rachel Ann, and as always, thank you for watching. Goodbye!